Located in Southern California, the City of Industry contains more than just businesses and manufacturers. In the middle of this busy city lies a historic treasure, the Workman and Temple Homestead Museum. This is a unique place. It's, it's unique in Southern California because um, partly of where we're located, when you tell somebody there's a museum in the city of industry, people assume you know it's going to be about business or it's going to be about manufacturing, and they're amazed when they find this six-acre treasure. The remaining six-acre museum contains the Workman House that was constructed for William Workman and his family, La Casa Nueva that was built next to the old workman house by his grandson, Walter P. Temple. El Campo Santo, a historic private cemetery, is a direct connection to the families. William Workman and John Rowland came overland from Taos, New Mexico with their families. They walked here on the old Spanish trail. And once they arrived, they were able to get a piece of land that came to be known as Rancho La Puente and it eventually grew to almost 49,000 acres in size. So originally the workman's house was a very simple three-room adobe home with a flat roof and then over time they added two wings also made out of adobe. Once their financial situation changed, the family was able to remodel the house into something incredibly different. What's remarkable is that they kept the original core, they kept those three rooms. We call it a Victorian era home um, because it has lots of these great little elements, but the skeleton is still that adobe core, which is really remarkable. William Workman's um, daughter, Antonia Margarita, married a man named FPF Temple, and the two of them had 11 children, um, eight of whom lived into adulthood. And one of them was Walter Temple, who built the other house that we have here on our property. And that's how La Casa Nueva came to be, and that's also how the house got its name, the new house, because it was built next to the older house. The La Casa Nueva, which means the new house. Uh, Laura, she, she, she died in, during the first year of construction. So the house is more or less like her memorial, you know. And uh, who lived there was the Temples. It was Walter Temple and his children, you know, Thomas, Agnes, Wally Jr., and Edgar. Architecture of La Casa Nueva is Spanish colonial revival, which was very popular here in Southern California in the 1920s. This is another great feature of the Spanish colonial revival architecture are the architectural details. Things like the tile, some of which was American made, some from Mexico, um, the painted glass windows, the rich carvings. Uh, everywhere you look in that house, you'll see something special, something unique, something very um, even personal. The house reflects not only um, the family's, some of the family's personal tastes, but their love of their family history and of California history. The family also owned the cemetery in which Walter Temple built a mausoleum. It's known as El Campo Santo. El Campo Santo itself has a fascinating history. William Workman built that in about the early 1850s, and uh, his brother David was the first one to get buried there. So uh, it remains in the family? They probably thought that it would always be in the family's hands. And um, so you know, we don't know if any formal records were kept of who was buried there, but when the, fam when the Workman family lost the property and uh, other people were leasing it and lived here before the temples came back, in the teens, um, one of the owners in particular, a man by the name of L.F. Lewis, um, he uh, was sued for desecrating the cemetery. So we do not know to this day how many people are buried there. So what um, Walter Temple did when he came back to the property, you know, the cemetery was one of his first priorities. So he rebuilt those walls um, in the place where a chapel had been, uh, that burnt down under Ella Lewis's tenure as well. He built the family mausoleum and he had his immediate family members' remains interred in the mausoleum. We, we talk about a hundred years of California history from 1830 through 1930. And if you're into history, this is a great, great place to come and visit. We have um, public tours that are offered Wednesday through Sunday on the hour. People can always go online and to visit our website to get the latest information on our programs. And the website is simply the museum's name. It's homesteadmuseum.org.
This place has a rich history that's on its original location. So take a trip and learn what the Workman and Temple Homestead Museum has to offer.